All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be sorting the seat belts out on the RS4. Uncle Benji is taking the rest of the stuff out. There's one more seat belt just to take out in the middle. It was a bit awkward, but Calop Vibe Belts has told us how to do it. We have the brand new yellow seat belts from Vibe. There we go. So we can stick them in. And two minute job for you, yeah? Professional certificate. So Troop from EM Tuning very kindly gave us these from Morimoto LED fog lights. They're the exact same fog lights that are on this and they're amazing. So uh, there you go, put, the M3, right? put them in your M3. Just a quick one on the M3. That is actually booked in at QFab to have the rust done under there, but it is at the end of August. So probably a month and a half away before that can get done. It does um, need a constant Whoa. charge because if you leave it for a week, the battery just goes flat so I think there is actually some sort of electrical fault on it as well but after we've done the seat belts on this this is going off to first class motors in oh cookie monster need a bit of a wash Elmo anyway yeah this is oh, got the offspring the real small one right there you go family of three anyway this is going off to what else have you found these anything to do with you here <laughs> that's from the last one <laughs> Anyway, this is going off to First Class Motors to get some paint. More or less, the whole of the car, barring a couple of panels, is going to get painted in the black. Phantom black. And then it's going to definitely look like a brand new car again. So I know this has been winding up everybody on the RS4 for months now. Well, probably about 12 months. This is the original back seats and parcel shelf and everything out of this car. The wing backs, the black wing backs, are out of the Avant track car that's broken currently, obviously. <laughs> Thank you again to Calip Vibe Belts. Cheers, these, mate. These are a perfect match to the calipers, aren't they? Oh, uh, check them out. Well, they hey, would be. They would be if the car was clean. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to leave the back seats until we get the paint work done. As well as that, they need rear upholstery, and they are there. So they're going off to MTS in Warrington. That's done, we can drive it now. And the reason it didn't go to Sean's over, well, two weeks ago before we went on the European run is because it didn't have any seat belts on. We can't drive it without any seat belts, can we? And it has been sat for a while, so we just put a bit of uh, juice in the battery. These wheels, believe it or not, even though they're dirty, they are refurbished. Rada did them. They are absolutely perfect now. And when it's in for paint, obviously, we'll get all this uh, remainder of the blue wrap off because the bumper needs coming off anyway, so there's no point in us taking it off just to take that little bit of blue off. Did you ever work out what this stump peg was for? I thought it was lipstick. Still think it's lipstick. And I still think it's your lipstick. So the saloon's all sorted now. That's going to get dropped off at Sean's at First Class Motors. In the meantime, we found some paperwork for the RS4 Avant track car that we stripped out. There's tons here. This was all in Lee's garage, hidden. But before we go through all this, I'm starving. You got anything in? Oh, pina colada. Hey, I know what you're like when the sun's out. You love a cocktail, you don't you? All nutrition and a beach load of pineapple and coconut. This limited edition pina colada. It's holiday time. It ain't gonna be party time with concussion, is it? So why do you like Y food so much? It's got 26 vitamins and minerals, it's high in protein, high in fiber, it's lactose free, it's gluten free, and there's no added sugar, and they taste amazing. But there's loads of different flavors, fresh berry, Vanilla, Lee's favourite, this happy banana, chocolate, strawberry, there's loads. There's taster packs, go and check them out. But if you want to try something different, they also do the powder shakes where you just add the water and they do the bars, which are my favourite. So if you use Evil GT10, link is in the description below. Get 10% off to do loads of different things on the website, taster packs, all the different stuff. Go and have a look, loads of different flavours, amazing. So, once again, thank you very much to Y-Food for sponsoring today's video, very much appreciated. Now let's get on with these receipts. The red is EX07YYR, which it still is. You see there, it says the colour's green. It was a horrific green colour. It was originally black, then painted green, and now it's back to phantom black, thank God. This looks like a dyno, 2019, and it says it's 395.25 horsepower, which is... Which is about right, yeah. Pretty accurate for a car that's been maybe carbon cleaned and stuff. Remove and refit inlet manifold. De so it's had the carbon clean. When was that done? That's 2014, that was a long time ago. That was pretty cheap, 425 quid. So it looks like the car was misfiring once upon a time. So this was in, where's the date? 2019. Um, so it's had a full set of spark plugs and coil packs to rectify a misfire. 
And that was 500 notes from the main dealer. Another 218 pounds on plugs and oil. Yeah, upper arms, which it's since had replaced again for the 034. Um, track ones. Another £250. Another £450 on some brake stuff. Another £806 on that stuff. £652 on some power steering stuff. Carbon fibre boot badge, that's not on it anymore. Don't know what happened to that, that was 45 notes. That was obviously taken off before we got the delivery of that car. We've got something interesting here. Right? I have, yeah, and this is all my opinion, not a fact. However, for that car to just have a stage one remap with pops and bangs and crackles for 375 notes, I would say that that car at no point in its life with a stage one remap was 455 to 460 horsepower. And I will back you up on that. Particularly not knowing that with a carbon clean and new injectors, you'd be at a nudging 400 horsepower. So to be getting another 50 to 60 peak horsepower from a remap, no chance, mate. Another $318. ECS is an American company. Awesome GTI do this, but they are still on the car. I've seen them okay. with my own eyes. Nice one. This Tell car us. is a tracker. I don't know where that is. We didn't find it and we've stripped it oh, out. Oh, actually, no, we did have some fobs, but I don't know where they are. Cash sale. £3.34. I should hope so. For some engine degreaser. I'm not sure that was that receipt's entirely necessary. Ignition coil, power steering fluid, more labour, paint, wheel repair. Whoa! What? This is probably when it got sprayed green. Wow, we're gonna have to have a look at this one. There you go. Let's go over to that. So this is and funny, right, down. because people have said, for the amount of work that um, Sean's doing for us, and he said, it was, it was probably, what, 75% of the car is painting, and he said two and a half grand to us for Phantom Black. Um, this clearly was when the- Seven years ago. That was when the car got painted green. Labour paint. See, see the camera won't even focus now because the camera, the camera never is in lies. complete disbelief. But, uh, but there, there you go. go. So that's how much the respray was, and there was an alloy wheel repair. Um, Tell you what, now. though, that in today's money is about eight grand. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Why but, this? Three hundred and forty-one on some whatever that is labour. Another hundred and eighty pound on some more labour by the looks of it. Wow. This oh. is all from an accident repair yeah, centre. Yeah, he had a field day, him, didn't he? Another ah. 341 pounds. Guernsey. Guernsey. Motor spares. That's for a battery. Okay. 90 quid. A pump. A stake pump. 62 pound, 90. A stake upper link. 100 pound. Three different stakes there. Probably one rare, medium and well done. Oh, there you go. That's a normal price for that then, 160. Yeah. Discs, pads, 741. <laughs> So for anybody that's wondering, by the way, we're having like a 15 year old V8 and go, ah, oh, they're dead cheap, dead cheap to run. Here and this is the previous owner as yeah. well. No wonder they got rid, rid of it. More brakes, 506 notes. Fuel filter, oil filter, headlamp, washer, another 64 quid. One of them, Yeah. one of them, and one of them. And it's still the equivalent of about 140 pounds. Yeah, condition report, don't need to worry about that, do we? It's not good, we know yeah. that. Yeah, another 1500 quid, what was wow. this for? Piston, engine of a cylinder ca ca capacity, is that exceeding 3000 cm? 1500, wow. Doesn't sound good. We are, what's, what's at the back of that? It's just to say you paid 1500, yeah. sit down. Damn. That there looks like it's been an import, and that says 2017. And this would make a little bit of sense because now I've found an MOT test certificate um, from 2015, but look, testing in Balmoral in Belfast. Right. So that's in Northern Ireland. So the car was imported in 2017, yeah? That's according to that stamp, yeah? Okay. So we've added up all the receipts here on Lee's calculator. Don't cheat, pause the video, go and put in the comments exactly how much you think it was that's been totted up here in just in receipts that we've got, not that what we've spent on it as well. Stick it in the comments and then come back to this bit. How much was it? 14,000, 14,000. And that's not including what how much we've spent on it, which is probably about another five grand. Within that, there was an accident by the looks of it. So mm -hmm. there may have been some damage in there that's been on one of these receipts somewhere. But also, if you worked it out, the car's 15 years old, right? 14 grand over 15 years for an RS4? Not bad. Take I'll it. take that. So yeah, 14 grand spent on, not this one, the other one, but this has probably had 14 grand spent on it just by us, to be honest, in the last uh, 18 months. But if you think you're buying a cheap V8, you really need to sort of like take that into account. These things cost a fortune to run. And you leave him one job and he hurts his finger. What's up with you now? Oh. Is that, <laughs> is that it? 
back in the C63, just picked it up from MB Tech in Warrington. They've done an absolute shed load of work on it. I've got the receipt there and it's big. So back from MB Tech now. When Shane drove it, he did say the alignment's out. So it's all been fully aligned now. The wheel was slightly to the right, so we straightened that out. I've got the printout of the service history way back to when it was brand new. Add a service, as you've seen in the previous video. The gearbox oil was changed, wheel speed sensor, the seat there, that was broke. I did actually get them to take the engine light off the dash because it's primary, secondary decat. And the corroded uh, rear lines, they've been completely uh, replaced now with copper. The parts for the service seat motor repair kit, £231 plus that, yeah. plus the fitting. ABS sensor, like I said in a previous video, £63. And the total, get ready for this, eye watering, £1,970. So you might as well say £2,000. It's right there in black, not even white, it's just black. So obviously, V8s, they do cost a quite a lot of money to run. This is just general, just maintenance stuff. £2,000, so that brings me on to when I did buy the car off uh, Calvin. Paid 16,500 for it. I knew it was cheap at the time, and I knew I'd have to do work on it. Calvin sold it at a trade price, and people have been saying, in the comments, I always ripped you off on it. It's not ripped me off. I knew what I was buying, and I knew it needed work doing on it. It now stands me at about £20,000, which, if you look on Auto Trader, the cheapest coupe on there is about 20 grand and that's with 100,000 miles. And a 100,000 mile car is gonna have the same problems as this 140,000 mile car. The good thing with this 140,000 mile car is, now all the stuff has been done. It's been checked over, everything's fine on it. I've got all the printout receipts, service history, everything like that, it's pristine car. And that brings me on to, it's gonna be going up for sale. So hopefully the buyer, the new buyer of this car does realize that it's like a brand new car, sort of. And um, I can get about 20 grand for it, money back. I had ideas for it, I did want to do certain things to it, but I've got something else that I want to do. Thank you to iFoods for sponsoring today's video. See you next time, bye bye.